And welcome back to this uh, Transitioning Humanitarians Live with me, Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Hi, hi, Ethel. How are you? Hello, everyone. Great to be here again. Yes, yeah, great to be here. And um, we thought that this week we wanted to talk to you about compromises, especially in the process of transitioning. And so what we want to talk about basically is what is compromise? How do you recognize when you have it? why we need to talk about it and what to do if it's not what you want to be doing that's uh, always the topic right so let's start vicky to talk about first defining so that we have a common understanding of what compromises is how would you yeah. define it mm -hmm. Yes, that's a very good question. Um, um, you know, what, what is the compromise? I mean, it's 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 sort of a route that we undertake when uh, the normal journey that we on which we are is not taking us where we need to go, and it's it's seemingly we need to somehow adjust the journey or adjust the path um, and maybe change something. And I think here this is this is the important thing uh, to compromise um, because. Uh, to see whether we, what is it, how we compromise and what is it that we compromise. And I think the questions around compromise, I think are super important to clarify um, in terms of good compromise, because there are sometimes good compromises and also compromise that is that is not good. And I think this is two of the subjects we could talk about, but also how to strike a good compromise, because I think it's, you know, um, sometimes um, in, in the sort of a popular saying, we would hear like, you find um, a middle ground, you, f you find something in, the, in, 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 in between. But I don't think that's really so correct. Um, yeah. Because sometimes you might be in, in the middle of it, like meet yeah. two sides, um, and then actually realize it's still, you're still going against your authenticity, against your values and, or, and your principles, etc. So that would be, I, I would, I would think a second question, like how to find maybe, um, the right compromise. Um, and, um, yeah, I think also, as you mentioned, how to recognize the compromise yeah. and, and what to do about it. So, so how is it for you, Arsel? So yes, so compromise for me is an action that we take because of some kind of scarcity that we're feeling. Mm -hmm. And that yeah. scarcity usually is generated by some kind of thought that says we can't have it all or we can't have that level or we can't have whatever yeah. we want to. Therefore, we need to settle with something else. Mm -hmm. Right. So in other words, action that somehow we feel like we have to take it because we don't have other choice. I think this is where mm -hmm. the compromise comes in. Right. So what's interesting, however, is that in the transitioning journey, because of how we are transitioning, how we're changing our situation, there might be a lot of opportunities for for us to give in, so to say. Right. For mm -hmm. us to just say, well, yeah as long as I can get the similar job somewhere else, I'm fine. Or mm -hmm. as long as I get a job, it's fine. Or sometimes mm -hmm. maybe we'll even say, as long as I get a job in the place where I'm going for, it's fine as well, right? So there are, these are the ways that I would say we recognize when our brain is saying basically that we can't have whatever the best scenario we want to, therefore, mm -hmm we should be happy with whatever we get basically, or whatever the minimum that we expect of ourselves to get, right? So that's mm -hmm. why yeah. I thought it's important that we recognize how or why are we making these compromises and mm -hmm. the consequences of it. Um, mm -hmm. So why are we doing the uh, compromises? I think Vicky, it's important that we talk about it more in detail because I think the reason why we're doing it is essentially comes down to us not believing of our capabilities, of our abilities, us not believing that whatever we're pursuing is doable. And therefore, we are just saying, well, the next best thing is okay too, kind of. And mm -hmm. the other thing that I find interesting that I have seen from many clients is that the reason why we believe that we can't really go high up for whatever the best scenario is because 
we are afraid of disappointment. Yeah. And this comes yeah. up so much that because we don't want to be disappointed in an intensive way, if we don't get whatever we wanted to get, we rather settle for being disappointed in a less intensive way on a on mm -hmm. um, a regular basis because if we settle on the lower bar so to say of our own expectation then we're like yeah we got it at least this one right we should be mm -hmm. happy at least with this one or we should be grateful so we start justifying that even though what we actually wanted is probably something else so that's mm -hmm. why i thought that um we really discussed this like compromise the action as to being aware of why are you making that compromise and what it is doing it to you if you are doing it and where it's coming from right so Nikki, yeah. maybe you could also talk to that topic of yeah. how you recognize this with your clients where mm -hmm. the compromise is being made yeah and yeah why yeah mm -hmm. Absolutely, super important, super important clarification because what you what you are describing is really the sort of bad compromise, the compromise that comes, uh, as you say, from the place of fear, from a place of anxiety, from basically negative emotion, and and here in this space when we are creating, when we're going anywhere or deciding for anything in life, coming from these negative emotions because they are in negative emotion, uh, emotions. Um, we can never have anything positive, just like you say, whether it comes from not believing in ourselves, whether it comes from um, fear that, oh, it can go, it can maybe not go well, or maybe I can be in a worse situation. Whatever we are doing from the place of fear and anxiety can never have good results. And this is why I, I, I think, as you're mentioning, it's super important to actually remind ourselves, why am I doing this compromise? What am I doing? Am I doing it for myself? help am i doing it for somebody else uh, because very often we do compromises for other or this bad compromises um for other people in order not in order to to be liked to be appreciated to be loved or mm -hmm. so to speak i mean we think that this is what we are going to gain yeah. but actually we are not going to gain more respect more appreciation or 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 any of this so so i think this this these are the really the the negative um um, consequences of, of compromise, even though on a short term, it may sound like, oh, okay, the solution is okay, but actually the solution is, is never really um, okay. And I, I like, there is one example I was thinking about um, when, um, that I heard recently, and then somebody told me, um, you know, uh, I think I'm ready to leave uh, the 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 eighth sector. I think I'm ready to transition, but I'm but just just to be sure, um, I will stay one more year just to just to see if I have the if I have the um, if I have the motivation or if there is anything else keeping me there. And so here I'm I'm hearing really sort of negotiating and compromising with oneself um and not going really deeper into into the subject matter because from what this exercise from the statements of this person it's clear that the person is ready to transition is ready to go somewhere some other place from where the person is currently that they're that the person is not really uh happy but it's sort of this compromising with oneself is maybe because of fear or because of whatever reasons so so by this i want to say what is the underlying question under the compromise what is can we like dig deeper into this compromise that we are doing with uh, uh with oneself and just to go a little deeper to understand why am i doing it what lies underneath what is the question and here we are going back again to what you mentioned the place of fear the place of anxiety the place of um, really these negative emotions that again don't, will not get us anywhere unless we really address them and this core issue. Exactly. Um, how is it for so, you? Yeah, so one of the things that I was thinking that um, is also that the reason why we are keen to compromise, I think, to uh, calm our nervous system or calm our like you know i mean some people call it anxiety some people call it this distress discomfort right that we want to have some kind of stability or we can we want to have some type some type of safety 
And in order to get that, we are willing to go for whatever the next best thing possible. And, and it's, I think, very humane and very normal that we all experience mm -hmm. it if we are changing things, if we are changing environments, the contract situation or yeah. all the things. And in those moments, experiencing fear, experiencing all these emotions is very normal. And also wanting to give in to the compromise is very normal as well, that our brains just want to say, let's get this safety or let's get this calm environment where we can feel like oh okay we are fine we are not going to be on the street mm -hmm. or we are going to be somehow supporting our family so it's not a problem yeah. so it's so easy to be in that situation what i would love for you all to consider in that situation is really the importance of preparing yourself that um you know if you are transitioning that you can always prepare yourself as to what are the emotions you're going to have how to handle them yeah. that uh instead of compromising if that's not what you're wanting you can always learn other ways to deal with your emotions so that you don't need to compromise right mm -hmm. so that's i think always important to uh stress the other one that i think we've been talking a lot about this is like don't leave the organization rushed manner or in a way that to avoid it or to like i need to just get away and then everything will be fine energy we also mm -hmm. can have a lot of compromises there so therefore prepare yourself before leaving prepare or give yourself enough time to prepare so that you don't have to then compromise again saying like well as long as this or as long as that right and the other one that I really uh, want to encourage, I think, Vicky, you are saying this as well, is like questioning it, questioning it as to where it's coming from. It's coming from an underlying yeah. belief that life is hard or it's supposed to be this way. I'm not supposed to have it all. I should be grateful if I have this and this or whatever the belief that underlying that compromise is, question it if that's really the case. Because the reason that I want to really like stress this is because what happens oftentimes is we, let's say we make a compromise. We go to getting the job, the next best thing, because we just didn't want to pursue whatever the best thing we wanted to pursue. But let's say we get the next best thing. But what happens is that oftentimes we are then settling there and then realizing that's not really what we wanted anyway. Mm -hmm. right maybe in the temporary yeah. short term like Vicky was saying maybe in the short term yes it would satisfy us it would pay our bills it would make us feel like we're we have a job we're okay but in the long run mm -hmm. it will not satisfy us and then we will again be in the same boat of trying to transition and also mm -hmm. maybe transitioning in a way that you need to then come back to what you didn't want to come back to maybe so mm -hmm. you can see that the short-term calming your nervous system made you realize that it's not really what you want in the long run so that's why compromise from that perspective is not really useful so that's why yeah. uh importance of realizing the consequences of that compromise so even if you do let's say take up that job even if you do let's say go to that place because you compromised it think about what's how are you going to feel in the long run in that place and if you can't mm -hmm. imagine yourself having that or being there or doing that job in the long run then it's the time now to make the decision to make things in the way you want to rather than following the compromise i hope it, ma it makes yes. sense what do you yes. think Vicky? yeah yeah absolutely absolutely i mean to me it makes sense and i hope our our, our our viewers and listeners will understand too um you know this reminds me a little bit of uh of uh, uh the interviews i've carried out with humanitarians in transition last year and many of the people have told me that i wish i have done it earlier because mm. many of them just like 
just like we are talking about, have been negotiating with themselves and compromising with themselves, saying, oh, let me try another one. Let me try another. Maybe this yeah. will be better than the last one, even though the deeper feeling that the, the reasons that we we are we are refusing to deal with. Right. And these are the core reasons that are deep inside of us that we are trying to push away and not deal with them because yeah. they are often painful or or that there is a lot of emotions uh, attached to them. Um, so these are the, the reasons that really come up. And so I just really want to say that, of course, it's individual. Like, like we, you cannot go back once you once you have already lived this situation. But just also from the I just want to mention this experience of my colleagues that many of them say I should have you know, done it a year ago, two years ago, three years before I actually, because they have come, maybe, um, I don't want their time, uh, maybe some of them see that the last uh, uh, assignments were already a waste of time because they knew that they have to leave, but there was just this fear to really go deep and address it and change dramatically and drastically things. Um, but some of them were actually went so far that they were forced by either burnout or something much more dramatic that happened. And this is very often what happens when we are living, continuing to live in a way that is not beneficial for us, that is against our principles, against our values. We already sense deep inside that already few years that this is not working. This is not for me. I need to transition, but we are not addressing the core issue. This is what then very often happens. People do have burnout and all sorts of also physical manifestations and also emotional manifestations that yeah. tell them that now you really need to leave. So yeah. again, this is not to scare um, or not to be as a scarecrow, but just really also from experience of other people that it's better to address. And as we agree, I think both of us just go deeper in the matter and just find out all the questions you need to find out about the transitioning where is it you want to go where is this why do you have this um fear and anxiety maybe avoidance to deal with certain issues yeah. seek for help if you need to if you can't deal with it by yourself or there is a part of it then just ask for help it's better than to remain in the same patterns that are really not helpful for you any longer um yeah. so yeah so those are the things that really just on on the top of what you've mentioned and there is one thing that uh, you also mentioned, and that's feeling safety and security. And we somehow assume that it's probably um, the same for most of us, but it's not. A lot of people, and we have different, different uh, needs in this term. Some people don't need as much safety and security, um, especially in the aid sector. It's, it's, there is a lot of change, so it often tends to attract people with a sense of for adventure and 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 and. Uh, people who like change, etc. Um, but it's not like that for all, for everyone. I, for example, um, I've always wondered how is it that I really like um, this lifestyle, at least in the past. I mean, now not, not really, uh, I, I wouldn't want to change countries, uh, um, like to live in different countries, but uh, I, I did like it in the past. But at the same time, also, I had a great need for, for, for stability and, and physical uh, stability. And yet, so I, I lived for many years in this clash. So I would like to encourage our, 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 our viewers and listeners to really also identify what is it that gives them sense of stability? Because it for some people it's it's not physical place for some people is like I need to have this amount of money in my bank and I feel like okay I can do the transition. For others maybe it it needs to be physical location. So also do pay attention to what gives you the sense of stability, um, so that you yeah. can allow yourself to transition. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's why it's so important that we take time to prepare ourselves, right? So mm -hmm. that. Yeah. we understand that what are um, what are the scare factor whatever that is what are what are the difficulties that you imagine will happen once you transition so and how are you going to encounter um, how are you going to deal with them how are you going to uh find solutions to those problems when it's happening because you will need to somehow address them eventually so and and oftentimes i think we also 
like I was also feeling like, oh, I will somehow deal with it when it comes or if it comes, right? And mm-hmm. I think uh, human nature is also that we tend to have this like generalized version of shoving it into the shelf of, okay, mm-hmm. when it will happen, I will somehow magically do something about it. Until then, I will just go for mm-hmm. it, right? In some ways, maybe it's helpful, but um, think of ge- like in general, think of all the ways that things could go wrong, things could go the, not the way that you expected. How are you, how are you going to deal with them? Yeah. And in those moments, you can also look at your experience from the past and see how do you usually deal with fear, yeah. right? How do you usually deal with disappointment, frustrations? And if you think that currently the way you are dealing with them is not really effective or it's not really mm-hmm. helping you, then you can also think of, how else could you do it? Because the best way that I always tell my clients is that in order to feel safe, uh, in order to feel the stability, whatever you want to feel, you always need to learn that you can trust yourself at at all times. You can always have this like your own back or whatever the way you call it. Uh, You always know that you are the one who can create problems because you decided to change but also you are the one who can solve those problems yeah. and as, you, as long as you trust that you are the one who can do that as long as you know that you are the one who can make things work then yes there will be problems but you'll always have this sense of yes I know what to do I know how to do it like for instance like Vicky was saying I need stability right so for me stability means having this or for someone else, stability means having something else, a relationship maybe, or certain friendships, right? Or safety, for instance. I personally don't need safety outside so much to feel safe, but I need like inner safety of, uh, you know, um, taking time for myself, meditating, mm-hmm. doing certain exercises so that I feel safe, right? So there might be many different ways that you start learning yourself and saying that, this is how I function, this is how I want to work, or this is how I create the success I want to. And the way that I do it is by doing this rather than going to compromises, I think is really the message. Is uh, if you are compromising, um, especially the values that uh, Vicky, you were talking about, if we're compromising those values in the long run, I think it's guaranteed we're not gonna like our lives. and this I think we have experienced so many times so we don't need to even test it this is how things are we are human beings who want to live our lives in an aligned way and by aligned I mean where we do the things that make sense to us we are connected to people we love connected to we want to uh, be in charge of how our life is right so these are the things that are so important to most humanity, I would say. So that's why as long as we are not doing things according to those needs, then we will not like what we're doing. So that's why compromising can lead us to the to living life not the way we want to. And in the long run, again, we want to start changing things. So if we don't want to do that, if we want to uh, transition in a way that's sustainable, in a way that really serves, you know, our inner needs, whatever they are, then preparation is important. Learning yourself as to how you deal with those stress situations, um, preparing for them, uh, and uh, yeah, also getting help, like Vicky was saying, right? So if you need help to prepare yourself, Uh, If you need help to question some of these belief systems so that you understand that instead of undermining yourself immediately and saying, well, I have to compromise now because I have no choice. Instead of doing that, how else could you trust yourself to create the transition you want? How else could you go for what you're really wanting instead of just focusing on the temporary solutions? Yeah. Anything, Vicky, that we haven't said that we should be saying? <laughs> yeah, thank you. No, you, you've you concluded uh, very well. I really love the, the summary of all the points. There is only one thing that came to my mind as you were saying, um, it is that 
whatever part of what we've been uh, talking about compromise whatever comes to you the whatever is the part that you don't want to deal with is the part that you are sort of pushing aside yeah. uh, maybe addressing the the fear that's the one you need to start with and that's the one you need yeah. to spend the most time with because yeah. that's the one where you have seems the most issues and you really need to address it because as we know if we don't address these things and if we shovel them under the carpet they will pop up in the most unpleasant yeah. and even violent way so exactly. um better deal with it now so yes yeah. exactly Thank very good so point much. exactly so the the i think just to support that is that compromise whenever you are telling yourself that i better do this because i have no choice right so these are the moments where you recognize that you're feeling the scarcity of some sort uh, or fear, or fear can also be masked in so many different ways. But what's important is that asking yourself, why are you choosing to just decide that you have no choice, right? Why are you choosing to say, okay, I just have to do it or whatever the thing that you're telling yourself, why are you deciding to do that when you could decide something else? Because oftentimes when we bring the decision into the play, we then start saying, well, I'm not deciding, but then in the end, you are the one deciding that you have no resources, right? You are the one deciding mm -hmm. that you rather believe the fear and go settle something else, even though you could go for something that you're wanting. So whenever mm -hmm. we are um, in this moment of like, I can't really do all, both or I can't really go for because whatever the thing that we're limiting ourselves, that's the time when we start questioning it and, and asking ourselves, why are we deciding to believe this is the case? Why can't we decide something else to be the case? Why can't we just go and shoot for the, for the stars? Right? Yeah. Why are we the why are we being the person who is stopping us ourselves from going to what we're really wanting? Because oftentimes I yeah. think we believe that the obstacles are created by other people or life, but we are the one creating. I think uh, right, recognizing that this is the case in if we're creating the obstacles, we're also the ones who are solving those obstacles. So getting yeah, to that space yeah. would be an amazing place to start your transitioning journey. And we really hope that you will do that because our goal is really help you understand that you are amazing. <laughs> and you have so many resources within you to get to whatever you want to. So don't limit yourself and don't compromise in the way that you don't want to. And instead go for whatever you're wanting. Okay, having said that, thank you so much for you all listening, Vicky, for having this conversation. Thank you. Exactly. And if you have any questions and struggling with any part of it, uh, please do let us know. We want to help you. We want to like uh, look at specific situations that you're having, where you are getting stuck, right? What story you are believing when you don't need to believe that story. We will, we'd love to help you. Um, until then, uh, yeah, stay safe. Don't make too many compromises. <laughs> and see you next <laughs> Thursday. Yes, all the best. And uh, do let us know if you, if you need um, more um, explanation or more support. And, or if you would like to suggest a subject that you would like to deal with that we haven't talked about yet yeah. when, when it comes to transitioning. So thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye, you all. Goodbye. Bye.